You're approaching the outer limit. Our infinite struggle to intersect the axis that, that is science, science and the elusive curve that is the universe. This isn't science as we know it. Rather, science as we shall know it. There are no innocent bystanders here. Near the limit, each of us must be a scientist. The egg, an origin of life. Too bad for the egg. But why the empathy? Did the egg feel terror? Did his colleagues? The pragmatic scientist might incredulous say, certainly not. Eggs cannot feel. That kind of certainty sunk the Titanic and the Lusitania. New York City, February 2nd, 1966. Cleve Baxter, polygraph expert and chairman of the Research and Instrument Committee for the Academy of Scientific Interrogation, attached the GSR component of a polygraph machine to his office Dracaena plant in an attempt to observe the rate at which the plant absorbs water. The chance observations of a curious mind. It was early in the morning and no other person was in the laboratory. My thought and intent was, I'm going to burn that leaf. The very moment the imagery of burning that leaf entered my mind, the polygraph recording pen moved rapidly to the top of the chart. No words were spoken, no touching the plant, no lighting of matches, just my clear intention to burn the leaf. To me, this was a powerful, high-quality observation. Footnote, Cleve Baxter, Primary Perception, Ansa, California, White Rose Millennium Press, 2003, page 24. All further references in program. For 40 years, Baxter has made rigorous scientific observations showing plants, eggs, yogurt, and human cells in vitro all responding to spontaneous events and distinguishing between thoughts that were feigned and thoughts that were for real. Reach into our scientist toolkit, form of hypothesis. Humans share a sense with every living cell around us, one that is not extrasensory, rather it is a primary perception. In the words of Pushkin, a psyche exists, it would seem, in living cells devoid of a nervous system. Dr. Myra Crawford of the University of Alabama Medical School visited Baxter's laboratory on January 30th, 2002. Her commentary. I have been shown in a scientific demonstration the apparent reality of conscious, non-local, instantaneous communication between my thoughts and my cells. Instantaneous, non-local communication? Faster than the speed of light? Instantaneous non-local communication is rarely discussed outside of quantum theory. The famous einstein podolsky rosen argument of 1935, illustrated here in a simpler version by David Bohm, considers two spinning particles formed from a decaying particle. As they move outwards, the two particles are entangled. If we were to measure the spin of one and get a certain value, an immediate measurement of the spin of the other would yield the same value. If reality were for real and quantum theory were true, the particles must then be exchanging information instantaneously, defying the principle of locality. A tough pill to swallow for Einstein. In 1964, John Bell extended the EPR argument and rigorously showed violations of locality in quantum theory. Henry Stapp called this the most profound discovery of science. Footnote, Andrew Whitaker, John Stuart Bell, University of St. Andrews, Scotland, online, internet. Few exceptions aside, mainstream science and investment dollars avoid primary perception and consciousness research. If it is, as Bruce Lee describes in the film, Enter the Dragon, like a finger pointing the way to the moon, the economics of science would just as soon go on concentrating on fingers. I had the distinct honor of speaking with Cleve Baxter from his laboratory in San Diego, in his words. It makes you wonder a little bit, you know, about the real definition of science and scientists, and uh, are they performing, uh, <laughs> you know, according to, according to design. The complete Cleve Baxter interview and corroborative research can be found on the web at www.outerlimit.org.uk. Until next time, make rigorous observations and be prepared to cite your sources. I'm Ryan Corals. See you near the limit.